welcome back friends in today's video i'm going to show you how to blend a very very stubborn gum one of the most stubborn gum on the market right now is hydroxyl ethyl cellulose x it's very hard to blend even after adding glycerin you have to work it work it work it now um there's a better way to do that and it's going to take you a bit of time but don't worry it's uh it's faster and more useful than you think so what you have to do is just uh measure so we're going to blend it we don't need glycerin in this situation okay so we set the glycerin aside we don't want it measure the gum you're going to blend okay measure your gum that's the first step now this is a bit tricky because unlike the guar gum or the xanthan gum which is very straightforward this is going to take a bit of now just follow me i'll show you the trick now all you have to do just like i said create that uh that full effect start your hand head homogenizer you're going to need an hand head homogenizer and i'm going to link this in the description box below this is what i unbox not unbox i introduced this to you in about my three videos from this I introduced this to you telling you that this is my new tool and it has been of help to me so i want to extend that to you it's very very useful okay it's an hand air homogenizer um it's a mixer the bottom part is the bottom of a mixer and the head part is an homogenizer attachment i'll link the video in the description box below so you see exactly what it is so this is what i use now for most of my blending even my lotion I just want something that's portable. I can take with me when I'm traveling. It's unhead and very easy to do. Now start that vortex. Sorry, this is not. I can't, I can't really tell you a ripple effects. You need to start the vortex, okay, with your homogenizer. Start a vortex. So start it while inserting it into the water. Do not let it go to the bottom. Anytime you're using a handed homogenizer for that matter, don't. It might destroy your case so lift it up a little bit just like i'm doing here okay then start it the vortex so you're going to hide your gum inside that vortex okay that's the that's the tick uh that's the trick behind it so start it and hide your gum inside that vortex little at a time will help a little at a time inside that vortex that's what you want. Blend for two to three minutes, okay? The stronger the vortex, the better our results. after this right is to allow you to rest for at least five to ten minutes okay so in five to ten minutes we're going to come back and blend it again okay in five to ten minutes we are going to blend it again so this is so now there's no clumps it has homogenized okay then we're going to come back and do the second to the last blending. So every five to ten minutes, you check it and blend it. Every five, at least when you, when you after doing it for two to three times, your gum is ready. Hydroxyl ethyl cellulose is different in that it takes time for the molecules to swell up and for it to be fully hydrated. So in that situation, it requires a lot of mixing. But using this procedure was going to uh, make your job a lot easier and it's going to speed up the process of mixing okay so we're going to in the next um two to five minutes we're going to come back and do some blended okay so i'm going to keep this for five minutes then we're going to start the video in five minutes then we'll we'll, we'll do another blending until we get a solid uh, gel is now after 10 minutes let's going to blend it again so 
so this is how you know your gum has really blended see it's so clear right and they just they just blend it a little bit when you notice it's not blending again then your your uh, your gel has formed okay so when you put in your immersion blender um, not a motion blender your homogenizer and you see it's not moving again then the job of the homogenizer is done okay so you are good to go so that is exactly how to how to hydrate hex without any form of solvent okay when you look at it it's such a crystal clear gel okay that is what X will do for you okay hydroxyl solid cellulose this is a perfect gel uh gelling agent okay and when you when you use an immersion blender an homogenizer sorry and then homogenizer you get a better a smoother a more random uh, gel and this is exactly what i recommend for you okay this undead homogenizer is it's a lifesaver when it comes to blending your your gum can you check that out so smooth right it looks like water but it's actually thick it's actually a thick gel okay thank you so much for joining me today okay in my next video which i know you don't want to miss i'm going to show you how to make cream remember that is the, the procedure for making a cream is different from the procedure for making a lotion so in lotion we use oil in water emulsion in cream we use water in oil emulsion so i'm going to show you how to make your cream okay using a crock pot have you seen my video how to make your lotion with crock pot i know you love that video isn't it so in this video the next video after this is how to make your cream using crock pot so stay tuned for that it's going to be a very simple procedure and i will not be talking while you're going to follow the easy screen instruction so as to get along with me so thank you for uh, for watching if you have any question about you know blending your gum without glycerin okay i've done three series on this now i showed you how to blend xanthan gum without glycerin how to blend guar gum without glycerin and how to blend hydroxyl ethyl cellulose without glycerin so this is something you want to make sure you watch those videos so as to pick uh, one or two things from them okay thanks for joining me and happy formulating everyone also if you want to uh boost your formulation skill join me at stablecosmeticformulas.com that's where i teach formulation a project at a time okay we have covered a lot of ground and we still have a lot lot more to cover so don't forget to join us there okay and what else do i want to tell you good news happy formulating to you and yours and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of my next video remember that video how to make your cream using crock pot so stay tuned for that